Hi there, today I wanted to share some tips I've picked up over the years using Foursquare's facial gestures so that you can make the most of your facial gestures too. It was quite a challenge to get used to, I'll be honest. It took me quite a few weeks, even months to get really comfortable. And now it's kind of second nature. I kind of twitch my mouth even when I, I'm using paper, those rare instances where I'm not using the iPad. I'll, I'll twitch my mouth and expect the page to turn and nothing happens. Uh, but let me dive in showing you some tips and tricks to help you make the most so that you too can be really comfortable with Foursquare's facial gestures to turn your pages as well. So one of the best tips I've picked up is really just turn the iPad over. So let me turn the camera on and you can see what's going on here. So here I am with the camera app open on iPad and we're recording a little video here for me. And you can see when the, the camera is all the way up at the top here, uh, that when I'm looking down with the music, my eyes sometimes aren't even on the screen, you know? Uh, I'm looking down at the corner where I would be at the end of the, the, the page, I'm about ready to turn the page, and my eyes aren't even in the shot, right? So here, turning the iPad over will help solve a lot of those problems. So the iPad is now flipped upside down when I look at the bottom of the page, and there I am, I can see my eyes are perfectly on the screen, right? And what I've learned is the, it really likes to recognize that my eyes are open. So sometimes I'll go to the middle of the screen here and it recognizes my, my eyes. It has to see that my eyes are on the screen. So when I make those little weird twitchy noise facial gestures, it'll actually recognize them and turn the page for me. When you're doing this, just be sure that there's something on the bottom of your iPad protecting the power button so that it doesn't accidentally get hit in the middle of a performance. There's nothing worse than your iPad suddenly going dark. So for me, my case does this just nicely for me. There's a nice indent where the power button is so I have no risk of hitting it. I know some people will put like a little toddler block, some Legos, uh, some pencils under there so that it will s keep the power button from accidentally getting hit. Another big thing is just having good adequate lighting and that will change from room to room. So wherever you go, when you are at a new location, test it with the performance light up. So even at a new church or a new concert venue or uh, anywhere that you might be performing under the sunlight and the shade, just make sure you test it with the lighting that you're gonna have before you go. So that way you can calibrate if you need to make sure you're good to go. Um, Personally, I am a, an organist and a pianist. I, I play some other instruments. I'll sing and play guitar as well. For me, I found that, that it works best when I'm in a stationary place, like on the piano or organ bench. I'm not really moving around as much as I might be if I'm standing playing guitar. Uh, so it works a lot better when I'm stationary. When I'm moving around a lot, it just doesn't seem to work as well, personally, I've found. So either be really stable or in a nice chair where you're not swaying a whole lot when it's time to turn the page. In the app itself, you could test which settings work best for you. So let me just demonstrate this real quick. So if it's not on yet, you'll want to turn on your facial gestures. So double tap on the screen. And from there, you have the option of this face. Once you click that on, it's lit up like this. Then it's good to go. It's turned on. And then the top of the screen, you'll see uh, the, the face icon is on, the camera icon there. So that little green button in the middle next to the Wi-Fi symbol, that, that's signifying that it is on. So that's what you wanna see. It's telling you that it's using the camera function. So from here, I can go into the toolbar and I can mess with some settings. So I'm gonna go down to settings next. And at the bottom of this first module is the Foursquare Pro, go into that. And then from there, you're gonna go to face gestures. Uh, so in here, this is where you can mess with some settings to make the most of your time. So here you'll have some options for what to actually do with your face to get the pages to turn. Uh, and so you want to experiment and find what works best for you. So for me, I found the mouth movement works best. So that's when I do stuff like this with my mouth. That's a little weird, uh, but you'll start to notice a lot of iPad users are, are twitching when they're turning their pages now. Other options include uh, a head turn, so that's a little like going to the left or right. I found as an organist that doesn't work super well because I'm working on finding my stops, and so I don't want it to turn the page when I'm looking for the next stop. Uh, or I could have the option of wink, your right eye, your left eye. Uh, so what you'll want to do is, uh, especially if you go to a new location, especially if there's maybe a lot of stage lights, something that you might not have at home when you're practicing, is to calibrate it. And that'll kind of help set these settings for how sensitive it needs to be of left and right. Uh, so when you go into calibrate, it'll first have a relaxed face, Face. Uh, I'm just going to skip this for now. It'll have a uh, hold your the left wink or mouth movement to the left, uh, and then it'll have a, to the right. So it knows what is relaxed, what is left, what is right looked like. And then from there, it'll mess with these settings as a place to start. So what you might want to do is, if you're never going to go back or not going to go back as often, you might turn that sensitive sensitivity down so you don't accidentally go backwards when you want to only go forwards. 
Another I, place you could mess with is uh, backward navigation. I have turned off right now because normally in rearrange mode, I just rearrange the pages. I'll duplicate some pages so I never have a backwards page turn. I'm always going forward. So I don't even need the backwards navigation. So invert just changes the direction that you might be used to. So instead of going to the right and having go forward, the, the, the right turn will go backwards and the left turn will go forward. So if you wanted to invert that for any reason, I know some people that do like that. So just to show you it here, watch my mouth and see it going to the right, turning the page forward. So there you go, right? Pretty useful once you get used to it, knowing when to turn. Personally, uh, when I get close to the bottom line, I look forward a little bit, so I'm ready to go. I turn the page early in case something happens, because every now, now and then something does happen, so I wanna have the option to either try turning my mouth again, twitching, really getting it contorted, or if I really need to last minute ditch, I'll, I'll tap my finger on it. So that does happen sometimes. But they are few and far between now. The more comfortable, the longer you do this, it becomes second nature, and you kind of twitch your mouth exactly like you need to, exactly when you need to do it, and you don't have really worry about it anymore. So in the comments below, let me know what tips and tricks have you discovered to help get facial gestures work for you. Or if you have any questions on Foursquare, let me know in the comments below as well. I also have a great video here where I dive into all of my favorite features and settings about Foursquare. So check this out if you wanna know more of the settings that I personally use. Thanks and have a great day.